it is. Butterflies in your garden, Heather? I have noticed a few, but not as many as last year. They are one of the most unique insects that you will see outdoors. Yeah, so Sandy, how many, um, I guess, species of butterflies oh, are there? Lots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured that was... I'm yeah. looking for a more precise You number. just throw that out. A whole book full. Uh, yeah. This is actually Butterflies of Illinois. Uh, and actually, you can... It's hard to believe sometimes, isn't it? And actually, this is a new publication, a fairly new publication that came... Uh, it's, it's through the Illinois Natural History Survey, the Prairie Research Institute. It's part of that. And it's a great book because you wouldn't... You wouldn't hardly believe, you know, people think of monarchs and stuff, but you wouldn't believe some of the amazing butterflies that are out there. And I think if you just start looking, I guess that's the biggest I thing. I even look at the one on the cover and just the, yeah, just the color on that. I know. I didn't even know that, that that was... Yeah, isn't yeah. that a great one? That's a great beautiful. one. So, yeah. yeah. Now, I remember from our time last year at the State Fair, my kids coming home with milkweed seeds because sure. they were encouraging them to plant right. them right. to attract the monarch butterflies. Are the monarch butterflies, like, in danger? You know, there's some been, been serious concerns about monarchs simply because their populations have dropped for a wide variety of reasons. And I think it's probably one of those kind of perfect storms where there's lots of stuff going on between the drought and some freezes in Mexico. And, you know, monarchs actually migrate and clear down to Mexico. It's a long way. And they make it there. I couldn't make it Make it there no. just by you know just go fly <laughs> little fragile i know i know like it's amazing well, they're not like eagles where they soar in a relatively straight line it seems like right. they're all over the so place so it's pretty amazing so, so monarchs are one of those and actually we have several pictures um of actually monarchs this is actually a monarch chrysalis this is their little cocoon like thing isn't that beautiful it is. and if you look at that one of the reasons they're called monarchs is that they have this kind of gold crown on the chrysalis and so i really want to encourage people to look for these this time of year because you will start seeing Seeing those and so those are really important to protect um, and these are one of those that this they've got to go through the stage in order to have those monarch um, butterflies themselves so we have to have that this is actually the caterpillar of the monarch but isn't it don't you think that's just beautiful it is it's not like your typical caterpillar that, no, you, that I, you think of you know and it's one of those things I think the caterpillars are just almost as, are more as beautiful as the butterflies to see those and these caterpillars have to have milkweed and that's why milkweed so important to have out there they have to be out there so that these caterpillars can feed on milkweed. So monarch caterpillars have to have it or all butterflies? No, monarch in particular. Monarch, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Monarch in particular. Of course, this is a, an adult monarch, which is great. Um, so, but I will say to answer that question is there's a lot of butterflies that are very specific on certain types of plants that they will lay eggs on. Things like swallowtails, you'll see a lot of swallowtails, and they have those little long appendages at the end of their tail. So, and actually we have a picture here too that actually shows that per particular one. Those are swallowtails. Okay. And the great thing about those are they actually need uh, plants in the carrot family. So they need things like uh, Queen Anne's lace, dill, carrots themselves, anything oh. in that family. That's what she'll lay her eggs on. So she has to have those for the for the black swallow. Okay, you've brought in some examples of milkweed. Is milkweed no, a perennial? Actually, this is a milkweed. Uh, the, most of the milkweeds are perennial, and okay. it's not just the common one. Um, there's the actually the the butterfly weed is an orange one, kind of a okay. line eye orange one, which is is great and that's a prairie plant I just brought in some other ones these are different plants that actually butterflies were used for nectar oh, so okay. the adults most of the adults are gonna need something to nectar on to feed on yeah. so these per plants become particularly important for that especially this time of year because this is when we really start I'm gonna to turn it I'll, I'll do I'll turn uh, oh, it yeah, like, like, like a banana like, white thing yeah there. exactly oh, so oh, caterpillars yes. need milkweed butterflies need flowers we need flowers absolutely and again it depends on what butterfly it is uh, or what caterpillar it is in order for what host pet we call them host plants. Okay. Um, so these are would be nec what we would consider nectar plants. And so what, what is this? What is this? Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Oh, and yeah. I, what I brought was a kind of a combination of prairie plants as well as sort of our garden plants. This is blue salvia, which mm -hmm. is a wonderful, there's actually a perennial one as, as well as an annual one. And this is a great one. Any of these plants that have these tiny little tubular flowers, if you look close, okay. are great for butterflies. They're also good for bees, any number of things. So you this can is see that here Joe too. Pieweed. Yeah, the same yeah. kind of thing. Those little tubular flowers are great. This is called Joe Pieweed. It's actually a prairie plant. I have a couple of prairie plants. This is actually uh, ironweed. It has this wonderful kind of purple. I love that color. Isn't that a great color? Yeah, purple. That's beautiful. Just a fabulous purple color. I have cup plant, which is another um, prairie plant, oh, as well as around. purple coneflower. A lot of and, people are familiar with those. So and that's these great. perennials, you know, here in Central Illinois, is there a Central Illinois butterfly like? 
uh, as in what what the ones are common specific here? To, yeah, butterflies. I think a lot of the swallowtail. Of course, a lot of them they don't know state boundaries, so a lot of them. Well, we'll let Indiana have a few, <laughs> Ohio and stuff like that. That's good. We'll think about it. Yeah, yeah. So people may have noticed things like red admirals. We had a ton of red admirals this year, which is another very popular butterfly that you'll see this time of year, as well as painted okay. ladies and all kinds of great things. All right. So Sandy's going to be taking your sure. questions, and you you should write in. WCI Living at WCIA.com is our email address, or you can leave your question on our Facebook page. And if you don't write, I have questions. Yeah. There's never, there's never so enough time to say. You know what Sandy. I am to say. That's right. That's right. We want to hear your questions. Yeah, so post them and we'll get to them um, coming up here in just a few minutes. All right, time now for today's CI Giving. Yeah, courtesy of Knights Action Park in Springfield. It's two tickets, I promise.